Hey guys, if you like the content that's in my video, if you know somebody that has gone through uh, some of this stuff, if you know somebody that loves family history and ancestry and all those kinds of things, make sure to share my channel with them. The more subscribers that I get, the more that that'll help me out with YouTube since I'm a new channel. It'll help me show up in suggested playlists and searches and things like that. Thanks so much guys. Bye. So it is um, four stupid o'clock in the morning. Actually, it's about 4.30. It's funny, when I was younger, we always used to leave uh, this early, hi little bunny, to head north. Doing it again, um, mainly because time has changed and I don't want to get there when it's dark. So there's that. <sighs> Nobody on the road, that's for sure. But this is the last time I get to you know, go home. And, I mean, it's got me now. But, I'm also really tired. <laughs> and not awake. And, and I know it'll hit me harder later. But, you know, I, I guess I never thought I'd do a video where I had to say that is the last time I get to go home. So it's a little rough. It's a whole lot rough, but we have stuff to do and crying isn't going to, I mean, you have to cry, as I've said, you have to get stuff out, but sometimes you have to kind of rein it in just a little too, a little bit, when you've got stuff to do. So I'm going to try to not focus on that fact and focus on my trip and the stuff I have to do, but y'all, this is brutal. It's just, it's brutal. And the last day or so I've been very quiet somber. And, I mean, I feel like I'm going to a funeral. You know that feeling? Yeah. And I mean, I kind of am, but, oh, guys, it's just, <sighs> this sucks. <laughs> this is just, and it it's going to get worse. I mean, it'll get worse before it gets better, but damn. Ugh. Anyway folks on the road. So I've had a good day driving. You know, it's interesting. Three quarters of the day was very cloudy and kind of drizzly, rainy. Honestly, it was very almost kind of sad and somber like and I just thought that was interesting because I haven't had a trip like that in a long time. I don't know, so the timing was just kind of interesting. Um, but I'm almost to the house, just maybe a couple miles longer. Um, the last couple days, too, that I've been getting ready is kind of interesting. I've seen a couple memes, and, and um, I just happened to see these. And they just happened to have basically the same message which was this, what you lose, you get back more, you get back better, that kind of thing. Um, they were worded better, <laughs> um, but that was the theme, and they both kind of stopped me uh, in my tracks, because, you know, sometimes you read something, you see something, and you just kind of know that it's talking to you. I mean, like, you just kind of know that that was something you needed to see right that second. And that's kind of how that was. Um, and then even today, I passed by this truck. Now, I mean, I passed hundreds of trucks. But this one, um, I don't know what to call it. Kind of the, like, side skirts that some of them have on the bottom to deflect uh, some of the air. 
this one had, I think it was like a Bible quote, and but it was something about not doubting and, you know, like keeping the, the faith. And I'm, I'm not a religious person. Um, that doesn't mean I'm not spiritual, just not religious, but anyway. Um, but when I saw that, that kind of caught my attention. So I, and, and my life, to be honest, um, is full of synchronicities. Um, if you're not 100% certain about that word, look it up. But my life has a lot of very interesting synchronicities. And I pay attention to those. I have learned to pay attention to those. So apparently the universe is telling me something. And I'm going to try to listen. <laughs> I'm going to pay attention to it and um, and hope that it's right. I'm going to flip the camera around here in a second because we are almost to the turn. And the reason I'm recording this right now is because, and I'm not going to keep it together, so I'm not even going to try. But this is the last time that I'm coming in from a trip. To the house. Basically, never gonna do this again. Never gonna have another trip. Come down this road. I've already been emotional the last couple of days anyway. Whew. But it's expected, so flip this around. You can see in the video, I got a nice little chip in my windshield, which in all my years of road trips, I've never had a cracked windshield. Ugh, but anyway, that's okay. Small problem to have. Hello, male person. Oh, look at that, where the tobacco was. They've got it all nice and green. Oh, my beautiful house. My beautiful house. This is so unbelievably painful. And I've got so much more. <laughs> so much more ahead of me. God, how am I going to drive away from here? I can't even handle driving to it. <laughs> But I just know that I wanted to record that, kind of like when I left. You know, that I knew that was going to be the last time that I could leave and anticipate a trip. And as soon as I got up, you know, this morning, I was thinking about it. It's just like, oh my God, this is the last time that I'm, you know, having this road trip. And, I'm going to come here. God, it hurts. It hurts so damn bad. So damn bad. You ever wonder sometimes when something does hurt so bad? Can you, you just wonder if you can like feel your heart actually breaking? Because I swear sometimes you can. I mean, I know it's not, but... Whew, but anyway. I just wanted to do that, because... 
I won't ever come in from a trip again. Oh, God. God, I'm just, I'm just shaking. Like, literally just shaking. can't break down right now. Not fully. This is one reason why I wanted to get up stupid early like I did and come in so that it would still be light. I mean, it's just kind of nice anyway to, you know, unpack and get stuff in and not have to do it in the dark. But I just wanted to get, you know, my last little drive in. Okay. All right. Time for more tears later. I gotta unpack. Oh, this sucks, y'all. Hey, y'all. Here is another little snippet that I'm going to include in a video somewhere gonna cook something tonight. Can you see that? Fat back. Who grew up eating fat back? <laughs> now, the reason I'm making this, because y'all are probably saying, well, what, are, what, what are you doing? I have not had this in, oh my gosh, Probably since my grandmother passed, and she passed in, you know, late 80s, early 90s. My grandmother loved fat back. Every, I always remember, you know, when we would come up here for Christmas and summer and all that, y'all, this was a staple. I mean, we always had this. And like I said, I've not had it since. And I do remember that I liked it. Texture was interesting. Flavor was good. I mean, I remember that. And so when I got up here and was in the grocery store the other day and, and saw this and I just thought, you know, I'm going to get it and I'm going to make it for mama tonight and I'm going to sit at the table and have this and remember her. So I've never cooked this before. <laughs> I found a, a video on YouTube and you know just kind of wrote down what i needed to do to follow what she did so let's see how it turns out <laughs> Okay, so washed off a lot of the salt, and so now I've got a pot going and getting ready to get it <clears throat> boiling here. Let me make sure I'm turning on the right one. And she said the way she does it is then she takes it after she's washed the salt off. Um, she lets it boil for three to five minutes, not to get out maybe like a little bit more, and then she puts it in the oven. So... We're going to try boiling it. Like she said, my water here. So I'm gonna put it in here. Let me know if y'all do something different. Um, maybe, you know, the way that she was doing it in the video is a way that, um, you know, is kind of the standard way of doing it. I don't know because I don't remember um, when my mom fixed it uh, for my grandmother because my grandmother could, you know, never cook it because her arthritis and everything was just so bad by the time that I came along. So mom usually cooked it for her and I just don't remember what the process was. I mean, like I was just so little. I don't know. Did they just throw it right in the oven? Did they just wash it off and bake it? I don't know. So. If y'all do something different or have a different way or whatever, I'd love to hear about it. So anyway, we're going to let this boil for a few minutes and then get it in the oven. So we'll see what happens. Okay, the boiling part is done. And so then after that, turn that back around. 
after that. Then she took it and, uh, of course, drained the water out. And then she dried it or, you know, kind of pat dried it, you know, as much as she could uh, to get the liquid off and then put it on the pan. Um, so I'm going to turn this off again real quick so I can do that because I can't hold it and do it at the same time. And I don't have all the fancy things to try to hold it above me. So anyway, I'm going to do that real quick and then we'll get it on the pan, get it in the oven. Okay, so I went through and dried it and I have now got it on the pan. Time to get it in the oven. Um, she said that it, uh, to cook it about 20 minutes. She checked it at 10 minutes, so I'm going to do what she did. So I'm gonna set it for 10 and we'll check it and see where it's at. Getting there, got about 10 more minutes. All right, the fat back is done. We're gonna sit down over here and try it. I thought I would just show you the light behind me really quick. Today is just a mama day. Like I said, that's what I call uh, my grandmother. And this light back here, they have had since at least the early 50s, probably longer than that. In the 50s, now I'll put up uh, a picture where you can, it's kind of hard to see it, it's the same like little frame, but it has a different top, you know, it's got a different shade to it. But this shade, I mean, I've been seeing since I was little. So that's been there since the seventies. And mama loved to turn this light on in the evening. Uh, a lot of people will turn on the light to the stove. You know, you turn off the regular kitchen light, you leave that one on, same thing. Um, so she would always turn that on. And so for me, that light and that light being on is my grandmother and it makes me think of her and and oh just how many nights you know it was on and so you know that brings me happiness and brings me some peace a little bit and so we're going to sit down over here and i'm going to flip this around real quick this was mama's spot right here her little toaster oven that you know, this was kind of before microwaves got super popular. And so she warmed up all her stuff in her little oven and her little chair. Now, I know you're probably asking, well, what was she doing sitting on a stool? Well, as I've mentioned, turn around. There we go. As I've mentioned, her arthritis and stuff was, uh, let me get in here, it was uh, really bad. And so trying to sit down at a regular you know on a regular chair at the table she just she couldn't do and so she had this this is all i've seen her use again because when i came along her arthritis and stuff was already so bad and so i've only ever seen her sitting in that chair so this is mama's little spot so we're gonna sit beside a mama tonight and let me show you how my fat back turned out. Now, I remember, you know, like you kind of eat the, the middle, you know, part here. Of course, you don't eat the skin. And um, I remember that middle part kind of being dry. And I don't mean like dry as in bad. I mean dry as in crunchy if you've eaten it you know the texture that i'm talking about almost like a oh i don't know almost like a, a <laughs> i'm trying to say like a buttery soft crunchy i don't know it but if you've eaten it you know the texture i'm talking about um and again i don't i'd have to ask my brother if he remembers how she fixed it i feel like she probably cooked it on the stove top maybe in a pan. I mean, who knows? Maybe she, you know, did it in a cast iron pan because the thing with cooking this is that <clears throat> you are going to get a lot of oil out of here. Oh my gosh. I mean, I must have a third cup of oil that has come from here. So I kind of had to keep draining it out of the pan. So anyway, I feel like it's close to hers. Um, not quite a hundred percent. I would try it again. Like I said, maybe after I asked my brother if he remembers, like you know how she did it. So let's give it a uh, get a taste test here. Mm. 
Huh. Well. Oh, y'all. This is going to sound stupid to some folks and maybe not to some others, but that's almost, that almost makes me emotional. <laughs> because I miss her so much. <laughs> God, I miss all of them. Um, so it's kind of nice to, I don't know, fix something that, like I said, I literally have not had, uh, since she passed. So, huh. And I said for my first time, it's not bad. It's not bad. I'm very happy with that. Huh. Well, okay. All right. I'm gonna sit here with mama and have my dinner and dessert is gonna be ice cream. And you know why it's going to be ice cream? Because mama loved ice cream. <laughs> that was one of her favorite desserts. So we're going to have that too. Today's just, you know, a mama day, mama night for some reason. But it's fine with me. 